Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. Today, we're gonna go over how to render your video in Sony Vegas with 1080p HD and 60fps. So first of all, we're gonna hit Control O, go to our desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and import a video. There we go. Go ahead and let that build real quick. There we are. So this is what you would want to do. You Once you're done editing your video, making any changes you would like to do, you go ahead and go to your render as. You're going to click on your template and you're going to go to customize template. This will bring up a custom settings pane right here where this is essentially how your video is going to render. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. Mine is YouTube 1080 60 FPS template just for my YouTube videos. Your frame size, this is your HD, you can do uh, 10, 720, but I like to do 1080. It's the high definition 1920 by 1080. Don't allow source to adjust frame size because that's gonna mess with your aspect ratio and make the video all wonky. Profile high, that just makes your uh, rendering go a little faster. That doesn't really matter, your frame rate. The maximum you can go is this 59.94, which is essentially 60 frames per second, so make sure it's on the double NTSC. If you want to go to 30 frames, that's also good. That's just the normal NTSC. Pixel aspect ratio, you want to keep this at the maximum, and bit rate. Bit rate is also a major part of this. Bit rate goes along with the frame rate and the frame size. This is basically bits are the many, many sections of your video. The more bits you have, the higher quality video you are going to have. And then of course you can choose how you want to render your video. My GPU is usually not available because I'm doing other tasks. So I do my CPU only. And then you can go to your audio and make sure that also you want to have your uh, gigahertz and your BPS at the maximum. For me, I have rendering troubles when doing bit rates for my audio above 256,000. So I like to keep it there. It's the maximum I can do without overloading my system. And that is it. So then you can simply name your template, click the save button, and it will automatically crop up. You can also favorite it in your output format so that it's immediately available. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. Wow.